Walter Isaacson now, author of the book Codebreaker, widely held as the authority on CRISPR and on one of its main pioneering scientists. Walter's also a CNBC contributor. Thank you so much. How big of a breakthrough is this? This is huge, particularly because it will allow this type of treatment to be affordable. Over the past couple of years, we've they've used CRISPR to do things like cure sickle cell, but that meant taking the cells out of the body, stem cells out of the body, editing them and putting them back. And that can cost a million dollars a treatment. Clearly, when you have a widespread disease, you want to be able to just do it in the body. Dr. Jennifer Doudna, who you just, Meg, just interviewed, um, it was her company, Antelia, and she has been at the forefront of saying, how do we make this gene editing technology affordable and that's what this breakthrough is about. Where does this go from here? And, and what other breakthroughs do, would you anticipate? Look, the great thing will be all sorts of uh, simple genetic diseases. And there are a lot of them. Muscular dystrophy, cystic fibrosis, as I've said, sickle cell, Huntington's disease. And I'll tell you something, Shep. People worry sometimes about, oh, we're going to be designing babies and they want to slow this technology down. Every day, like Jennifer Doudna, who I wrote about, I'm getting emails. I mean, I'll hold one up here, which is just this morning, somebody sending me a picture and saying, here's my four-year-old, has this rare genetic disease. They say he's only going to live another three or four years. Can you help me do it? So we will be able to take on these um, sort of single genetic or simple genetic diseases, and there's about 5,000 of them. Mm. Wow. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.